Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Yay! I hope everybody's doing good. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, honey. So I want to come on here and do some podcasts. There's been a lot of stories that you guys have been wanting me to hit on. And one thing I want to talk about was this viral story concerning Megan Good. And we had talked about her the other day on the live stream. Well, Megan Good decided to do an interview um, with Where's the Buzz TV. And basically in that interview, the interviewer asked her, what did she think about all of this drama going on concerning her skin? and people accusing her of skin bleaching. And Megan Good goes into a lot of detail. So what I want to do is go ahead and play you guys the clip. You guys go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Yeah, Megan, if you don't mind, can we talk a little bit about the the skin bleaching thing? I have a question for you about that. What made you want to speak out and even address the rumors about it? Because normally, I don't, you you wouldn't, you would just let people say whatever they would want to say. Right. But what made you want to address them? You know, it broke my heart to think that there's little girls seeing this commentary and thinking it's true. Right. Um, it broke my heart that in a season when you have young black men and women being murdered everywhere that someone would think for one second that I don't love my black skin. Right. Um, that bothered me. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when it all first happened, it was, it was extremely traumatic because, you know, I had went to this woman for like a scar removal, like a dog bite on my leg. And, right. you know, she said, try my products. And I think you have a little sun damage on your forehead. And I said, ah, oh, no, that's okay. That's like natural contour, girl. It's great. It's mm-hmm. fine, you know. And it was something that did bother me a little bit, but I was like, it's fine. If it's not mm-hmm. broke, don't fix it. And I used her anti-aging products, and they were phenomenal. So I was like, oh, she's the truth. Right. And, and after I used her product, her anti-aging product, I did find out that she was unlicensed. Oh. But I didn't think it was a big deal because I'd already used her products, and I felt good about it. Then, you know, when she said, let, let me fix the sun damage, I'm like, okay, well, now I trust her. It's fine. Mm-hmm. And I start using it. And, you know, someone had asked the other day, it was like, well, if it was just on your forehead, then why your whole face? Because she said everything needed to be even. So just use it, wash with it, you know, mm-hmm. whole face. And as I saw myself getting lighter, I started freaking out. And I said, what's going on? And she said, oh, no, 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 it's just going to lift the damage first, and then everything will come back. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And I saw myself getting lighter. And I was like, what is happening? Right. And she's like, oh, don't worry, your color will come back. And I'm like, but when is it going to come back? And she's like, it'll come back soon, I promise. Cut two, you know, it's two months down the line. My skin's not coming back. I'm freaking out. Devon's starting to freak out. Mm -hmm. And then I book this TV show. And I go to New York to film the TV show. I'm feeling so insecure and just not liking the way I look. And then those pictures happen. And I was like, basically, like, this needs to be fixed now. Now, Like, I, I can't, I have to be on TV, like, you know, so she was like, we use this serum, you put it on for 15 minutes every other day, and your color will come back immediately. And I'm like, why didn't you tell me that to begin with? So I did it, but I used it for 30 minutes. Oh. The serum attached to my face and wouldn't come off. Oh. And as I washed it and washed it and scrubbed, I had flesh on my face where my skin had ripped off. Wow. And my face was scarred and... And that's when the picture happened is because I had to wear so much makeup to cover the scabbing. Um, But basically, even after that, you know, it it just was a nightmare. And I started going to a dermatologist, Dr. Pearl Grimes, who fixed me. Um, And again, I'm still, you know, 20% away from where I want to be. But, you know, I'm on the road to recovery and it is what it is. But the biggest thing was like, I just, I just didn't feel, I... I didn't want to address it because I didn't want to give it life and I just right. want to move on with my life. But it's hard for me not to when colorism is such a big thing and self love is such a big thing. Right. And with everything that's happening around us, I don't, I love myself yeah. a lot. And I love my brown skin a lot. And, and your skin do it. look beautiful. Can I just say, I mean, like, and the fact that you went through all of that, nobody knew that part. 
You know what I mean? So you were right. going through that and people are saying something completely different. I know that right. that had to... Yeah, it, get, it got under my skin a little bit. But what I realized is while I was in it, I, I couldn't defend myself because I looked crazy. And I had to just sit with it and just be okay with some people are going to think what they're going to think. And and what I realized was, like, my prayer was, you know, after I had gotten married and I dealt with a lot of the church folk thing, my prayer for the last couple of years had been, like, Lord, deliver me from caring about what people think about me. You know, and I know, like, in the Bible it says if you need to correct something, you should. Yeah. But, you know, if you don't need to, at a certain point, it's like you just got to let it go and let it be. And so I, I had been praying about that. And what I realized was I was like, you didn't make this happen, but you allowed it to happen. And there's an opportunity for me here to grow in this space mm -hmm. because I have no control. I can't defend myself. There's nothing I can do. So right. I have to get to a place of just being like, oh, well, they're going to think what they're going to think, you know? Right. Um, and finding the balance of that. So that's why, I, for a long time, I didn't say anything. And when the other day I did, it was less for me as much as it's for, I don't want the babies thinking that, you know? Right. I want them to love themselves. and I don't want to be someone that appears to be an example out there saying that that's okay. Right. You know? Um, all right, so you guys just heard what Megan Good had to say about the situation. And I have to keep it real with you guys. I'm not buying it, okay? This woman has denied bleaching her skin for years. Um, first, it went from a dog bite, you know, getting that treated to, oh, there was a spot on the forehead. And then, you know, they wanted to, like, bleach that so that way, you know, didn't stand out as much. But then she had to do her whole face, you know, to make everything blend in. But like I stated on my live stream, um, then why did her arms and her legs and her neck and everything else get lighter? And I believe that is because she was either using a pill or using it where you can slather it all over your body. Now, let me go ahead and say this. Let's go ahead and rewind that back, okay? Yes. So what I want to do is a full breakdown, okay? So Megan Good was first accused of bleaching her skin as far back as 2014, people were noticing that she was getting a little bit lighter. Now, let me go ahead and say this first and foremost, okay? We also need to stop acting like Megan Good is this super dark-skinned girl. Like, she went from a lick wax complexion to the complexion that she is now. Megan Good has always had, like, a real brown, you know, skin tone. But she's not what I consider dark skin, okay? I consider her more brown skin, so I think that's an issue, too, is that people act like, you know, she was just super, super, super dark, and she wasn't. She's never been super dark, okay? You can look at childhood commercials of her. She's always been a brown-skinned girl. So now, like I stated, she was first accused of bleaching back in 2014, and um, so much so that back then she addressed it. She was really upset, definitely in her feelings. Let me go ahead and read to you guys what she wrote in 2014, because you know, honey, lovely tea keeps receipts, okay? So back in 2014, Megan Good says, I can't believe I'm actually going to address this nonsense, LOL, but I have young women who follow me. So I think it's important to give clarity because I believe that black and every other color is beautiful. This is for those who believe that I would actually bleach my face and entire body to try and lighten my skin. Shaking my head. Um, no, ma'am. First off, I love my complexion no matter what side of the spectrum I'm at at any particular time. My skin looks various different ways for various reasons, from lighting to makeup, style of photography, or something as simple as the weather and what coast I'm working on at any given time. This is my complexion, the one I was born with. I tend to get lighter and darker depending on how much sun I do or don't get. I love the sun. I'm a Cali girl. But as I've gotten older, and especially more recently since I've gotten into my 30s, I tend not to be in the sun as much because it ages your skin terribly simply put I'm opting to preserve my skin by protecting it and only making exceptions for vacations also for the rest of the people who feel as though my blonde hair is yet another way to look more Caucasian get your life I went blonde for the same reason I went purple and for the same reason I'm probably going to go green at some point because I felt like it once again, I acknowledge I really shouldn't have taken time to respond to this foolishness, but I felt moved to say something for every little brown girl that follows my page. I'm proud to be my brown or tan, 
thick or thin, natural hair or weave or dyed purple, green, God bless. And then she posted a baby picture of herself, okay? So that was back in 2014. And so people are like, okay, well, fine. Maybe she's not bleaching. You know, once again, the internet is reaching. And I can definitely understand what she means by that, especially with dark skin, because our skin tends to absorb the light. So in certain instances, if you're in front of certain lights, if you're in, you know, even um, natural light can cause you to look a lot lighter. And whereas people who are already light skin or even white people, their skin tends to reflect the light. So there's not too much variation in their skin tone but with darker skin there's definitely a variation depending on lighting you know I go through the same thing in certain clips on TikTok I look light in other clips depending on the lighting I look more brown so I get that but now this is what reunited this whole skin bleaching thing you know I don't forget shit bitch so anyhow what happened is that back on October 2019, Megan Good went on to The Real. And she was talking about freezing her eggs and, you know, things like that. And a lot of people noticed at that point, like, well, damn, Megan, I know you said a few years ago you weren't bleaching, but you look extremely light. You know, Lonnie's on the same stage. You guys are, you know, similar complexion. She's a little bit lighter than Lonnie. But, you know, why are you literally the same skin tone as Tamara and Adrian Bailon, you know, who are not you know, Tamara is biracial and Adrian is a, you know, Latina. So that caused a lot of controversy. Her pictures started going viral. People started posting before and after pictures. Um, so she basically ignored it, but a lot of people were like questioning the real and saying at daytime real, um, did Megan good bleach her skin because I don't remember her being that light skin girl. You look like the late Michael Jackson. I'm just saying. So people were like really going at her, um, because of her appearance and and so at that point, she didn't say anything. And then new pictures of Megan Good popped up this year. And she just looked really, really light. You know, she looked even lighter a year later. So hence why she went on and did that interview with Where's the Buzz TV, where she addressed it. Now, this is what I want to say about the whole situation. I'm not really buying what Megan Good is saying, okay? Let me go ahead and break this down because a lot of you guys know um, I come from a family of bleachers. Bleaching has just been a part of my upbringing since I was a child. So I can speak on bleaching all day, every day. But um, I'm not buying it because, again, like she stated in her interview, her face is her moneymaker. Her beauty is her moneymaker. So why would you play around with, with your beauty, you know? And why would you even use an unlicensed person um you know you would just want to be more careful because you're Megan good you're not like the average woman and I understand you know we all like a good discount but if this is your money maker you're going to take more precaution for y'all who don't know people think that skin bleaching is just like a one or two time process you slather some shit on your skin and you know within a month or two you're light skin and that's it you know that's not how skin bleaching, skin whitening, skin lightening, whatever you want to call it. That's not how it works. This is a process. In a lot of countries that people like to deem third world, I, I hate that moniker. But in a lot of, you know, underdeveloped countries, whatever you want to call them, skin lightening is seen as a luxury. Okay, in places like Jamaica, places like Nigeria, the Philippines, things like that. It is seen as a luxury. So if you can, in Jamaica, they call it browning. So if you can bleach or brown your skin and make your skin lighter, you have to have money for the products. That's what people don't understand. It's not a one-time thing because think about it. Your body is producing melanin every day. Okay. That is what keeps us black. If our body just stopped, you know, decided, well, I don't feel like producing no damn melanin today. You'd get lighter and lighter and lighter. So melanin is, is a byproduct in the body that is produced daily. So in order to keep your skin lighter, um, you have to use these products every day, okay? You have to be able to brown your skin. You have to be able to lather this on or take a pill because you have to suppress the melanin daily. This is not something that you can just stop because, again, when you stop, you'll revert back. And that's what a lot of people don't understand, okay? Um, bleaching is a very expensive upkeep. And I'm talking about good bleaching products, not the bullshit $2.99 products that are on the beauty store shelves that contain mercury and things like that. Those cheap products will fuck your shit up. But real good skin bleaching creams are not cheap. 
I mean, hell, you can go back and look at Densia's products, even the stuff that Black China was hawking with her. Those little jars of skin whitening cream start at like, what, 200 bucks? That's that good shit, okay? Not promoting her, I'm just letting you guys know the difference between real whitening cream and the bullshit at the beauty supply store, okay? How often do you bleach your skin? Every day. White like Michael Jackson. Babes. You was you are a bleacher. He yeah, was yeah. white. What? He, he just come back black. You just come back black? I'm not saying that I wasn't getting attention or I don't get attention even when I'm dark, you know, but sometimes when I get very light, it seems as if the people can see me more clearer. Did you get more attention from girls when you oh were brown? Oh my god. Pull up a girl like netball man. Hooray. You know what I'm saying? So they were running you down. Yeah, you, you know if you say a word. When you walk out white and you're cleaning your clothes, you get a lot of girls. Well, actually, now in Jamaica, why people like a younger set of people want to have like lighter complexion is for the girls. Tell you the truth, everybody want bleach or white people girls. So when I do bleaching, I look more fresh and pretty. Well, in Jamaica, it would sort of be more like a compliment because the bleaching cream they're a bit expensive so nobody will not take that as an insult because once you're able to afford the bleachings and you're it's gonna make your skin pretty and you're getting prettier every time so it takes money so it's not gonna be insulting people will say oh you must have money that's why you can get your skin that brown so one it's a very expensive upkeep because you have to keep using it on a daily basis. And for a lot of people, the new thing, like I've spoken about before, is the um, skin bleaching pills. So that way you're whitening yourself. It's, it's suppressing the melanin from the inside out. And that way your body gets overall lighter. So, so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a daily upkeep. But when you use the cheap stuff, what can happen is that's when you see the side effects. That's when you see the skin burns. You see the thinning of the skin. Um, you see a lot of the complications. Yo, what's up? Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.